It's Miranda. I'm in my new room again. Setup keeps changing a little bit. So this happened December 2020. Put up the Christmas tree like normal for Christmas. And then when Christmas was done, I wanted to keep it up for the whole year. So that way I could decorate it for any holiday I wanted. Instead of it just being a Christmas tree, it would be like a whatever tree. Took the tree down. I wanted to keep it up, didn't work. So we have a small tree and it was a little wide for me. So what I did was I, I bent all the branches upwards. I curved them upwards. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. I curved them all upwards. It looks a little funny, but I needed it to be a little more narrow. And then I just wrapped the pixie lights around it. So now, okay. Now we do orange. Orange for how can you tell that's orange? Should I shut off the main light? Orange for Halloween. Or even we could do like the green colors. Uh the green color. There's green. There's another green. There's another green. Purple. Another purple. Okay, let's go back to orange, I guess. Ooh. The reason I'm showing you that is because I have an idea for decorations. Very easy ones. I have these felt squares. Each square is a different color. I figure there's a few Halloween colors in here. I can use either a Sharpie if that doesn't look right. I do have fabric paint, which will take longer, but I have it. I'm just going to do it. So if you want to see that, I'm going to have it pointed. I'll just, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. So here we go. It occurred to me to show you where I'm going to be pointing you. Here's my tripod. Phone's going to be right there. And there you go. If you wanted to see some, what's going to happen. I'm going to shut this off. So we're going to, just going to do that. Big old bin of crafts. I'm prepared in the way that I am prepared. Okay. So the first thing I did was open up the felt squares and go through each and every color to see which one I thought I could work with for Halloween. And it kept changing as I saw more colors. I liked the purple, I liked the green, I liked the red, I liked an orange, but as I went there were ones that I liked even more until I finally found the colors that I liked the most. And that's pretty much what this whole segment is. All right. do have the paints as well. The final question is how will I put these on the tree? Now I could probably just literally put them on the tree. Felt tends to stick onto things, but you know, eventually they would float, float off. This is what I was planning on doing. All right. Let's just make the jack-o-lantern big enough so you can see a face. And there it is. It's a little crooked, but so are most pumpkins. I'm just gonna make a ghost instead of a skull. I probably have to make a little thing up here so the paper clip doesn't go right through its head. zombie hand. Is that really grotesque? I could just whatever. We'll see. Yay. All right. You know what? Maybe I'll stick with these for now and maybe we'll add something on another time. In a couple of places, that's all. A little bit. Well, that decided that for me, that's okay. I found the green. I 
think we're good. So, I'm gonna wait for these to dry and then I'm gonna cut them out. I wish I had done more because I think it would look really cute with all of them on the tree, but I didn't, so. I'm gonna turn the tree on and I'm gonna put them one by one and show you what they look like. Ugh. They look kind of blue on camera, don't they? Yay! Got a little grave. That was the ghost. The zombie hand! <laughs> I guess the sleeve was green too. I didn't bother making it another color. And last, for now, yay, our little jack-o'-lantern. We even have one of these fake little spiders. There's my creepy little spider you can barely see. That's all I wanted to do today. I hope you enjoyed that.